نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله النبي الكريم أما بعد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وأيوب إذ نادى ربه أني مسني الضر وأنت أرحم الراحمين صدق الله مولانا العظيم This verse of the Holy Quran directs us to the story of one of Allah Almighty's great prophets, Prophet Ayyub alayhi salam, and his triumph against shaitan, and the story of his trial and test of patience and gratitude in the face of great physical and mental difficulty. And this prophetic story highlights a foundational principle of our aqidah, of our Islamic creed, which is qadr, divine decree. And one of the lessons that we can learn from this prophetic story is the challenge that every Muslim is tasked with, which is to reach the station of riba. So what does it mean to be content with Allah and his divine decree? Contentment, a riba, means to be happy and pleased with the state of one's affairs. Rida is also one of the highest stations of spiritual excellence bringing the believer into a state of complete satisfaction and contentment with the divine decree of Allah Almighty. When in the state of riba, the heart of the believer is calm and pleased, no matter the state in which the believer is in, nor the good or bad situation that has befallen them, the believer remains forever at peace. But what does it really mean to have riba? What does it actually look like to be content and satisfied with Allah Almighty's decree, with all that he has ordained, the trials, the difficulties, the tests that he has set for us, to be absolutely satisfied and accept his divine will. Indeed, this is an incredibly difficult task for anyone. It certainly is not easy to attain this station of spiritual excellence, but we certainly have examples from the prophets and the great people who came before us who have shown us what it looks like to have riba, to remain content with one's fate. They have shown us how to be proactive and make any grim situation a better one. And lastly, how to never lose sight of Allah's will, of his greater plan for us, and how to not lose faith in our Lord when his divine decree presents us with unfavorable situations. Then what we understand is Remaining content, having rida, i.e. remaining content with Allah's decree, begins and ends with having patience and remaining grateful and thankful for Allah's blessings, even when it seems as though there is not much to be grateful for. In a hadith reported by Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqas, anhu, he asks the Prophet wasallam, O Messenger of Allah, which people are tested most severely? The Holy Prophet وسلم, replied, Al-Anbiya, they are the Prophets. Thumma salihun, then the righteous. Thumma al-amthalu fal-amthalu. Then the next best, then the next best. Fayubtala rajulu ala hasabi dinihi. A man is put to trial according to his religion. Fa'in kana dinuhu sulba, ishtadda balauhu. If he is firm in his religion, his trial will be more severe. وَإِنْ كَانَ فِي دِينِهِ رِقَّةِ إِبْتُلِيَ عَلَى حَسَبِ دِينِهِ If he is weak in his religion, he is put to trial according to his strength in his religion. فَمَا يَبْرَحُ الْبَلَاءُ بِالْعَبْدِ حَتَّى يَتْرُكُهُ يَمْشِ عَلَى الْأَرْضِ مَا عَلَيْهِ خَطِيئًا And the servant will continue to be put to trial until he is left walking upon the earth without any sin. So to understand this process of being trialed and overcoming tribulations, we will turn to the great prophet Ayyub salam and delve into his life and story as he was among Allah Almighty's most tested, yet most patient and God-fearing prophets. Prophet Ayyub salam is introduced in the Quran as one of the descendants of Prophet Ibrahim salam. Allah Almighty describes Prophet Ayyub alayhi salam, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim inna wajadanahu sabira. Indeed, we found him steadfast. 
نعم العبد what an excellent servant he was إنه أواب verily he was the one who was always returning back to Allah constantly turning towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala these Quranic traits traits of patience steadfastness and the trait of always returning back to Allah is a very telling description of the story and character of Prophet Ayyub salam, as he was among the prophets whom Allah Almighty tried and tested in some of the most extreme circumstances, but in ways that we too can relate to. And most importantly for us, Prophet Ayyub salam's response and the way he tackled the calamities and distresses he was in is a great source of guidance for us and presents many lessons for us on what the best way is to hold on to our faith, to keep husn al for our Lord, to remain steadfast and hopeful for Allah's mercy and glad tidings, and above all, to always remain in the state of rida, a state of contentment and peace in one's heart with the divine decree of Allah Almighty. Mm-hmm.